So it's time to be thinking about dual credit registration for next fall. Um, myself, Mrs. Bonke, and Ms. Robbins-Williams is going to be doing dual credit registration in our offices from now until May 4th. So what we want you to understand is what you can expect when you come down to the counseling office to see one of the dual, one of us as are your dual credit counselors for getting information on how to register at Lone Star. Hi, McKenna. Hi. <laughs> um, are you here to ask questions about dual credit? Yeah, I'm interested in taking a dual credit course this fall. That's great. You're going to be, you're going to love it. Let me, let me first tell you, McKenna, um, what, what are you thinking, what class are you thinking about doing? I'm thinking of taking English dual credit. English K dual credit. Yes. Well, first of all, let me just share with you that this is the packet that you're going to take home okay. and it's going to have all the information that you need to get started. And the courses that we're going to offer for next fall are English 3 and 4K, mm -hmm. uh, dual credit, U.S. History AP, College Algebra K, Pre-Calculus K, and Calculus AB dual credit. Mm -hmm. As well, in, in the spring, we'll be offering English 4 and 5, I mean Spanish 4 and 5 <laughs> uh, AP, and um, Biology AP and Environmental Science. Okay. But, so, but you're primarily interested in English. English, English, English 3K. Yes. Dual. Well, the first thing I'm going to need you to do um, is to get a Lone Star account. All right. And you are simply going to follow these instructions uh -huh. and you're going to get a Lone Star ID. Perfect. Once you have that ID, you will then be officially a Lone Star stu College student. Sounds good. You're going to use that ID to do all of the um, information and, and tracking your information through your, your My Lone Star account. Um, once you have that number, um, we can then proceed and um, do a pink registration form. This will be the actual registration that we'll use to send to Lone Star that will give you, or any student interested, in the courses they need for, um, that they, they, they want for their uh, junior or senior year. Mm -hmm. But before um, uh, we actually fill out that registration for McKenna, uh, what I'd like to do is check your Aspire score. Okay. So your Aspire score is the test you took in the fall. Uh -huh. um, you remember taking, you yes. remember taking that yes. test and you got scored in English and reading and science and yep. history and math. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look. Your English score in Aspire tells me whoops, that you are able to take um, English and history classes uh, dual credit without having to take any additional testing. Okay, so I don't have to take any other tests? Well, you might. Um, if you decided you wanted to do College Algebra K, uh -huh. your score also tells me that you would likely, you would have to take the TSI over at Lone Star for okay. math uh, readiness. Mm -hmm. And what we would be doing then is sending you either over to Lone Star, mm -hmm. or we're going to offer the test on three separate dates here at Cy Woods after spring break for, for you or any student that would be interested in uh, taking the TSI yes. to see if they're English or math ready. Mm -hmm. But in your case, my friend, you I are English ready and history ready. Sounds good. Okay. The other thing I'd like you to do, McKenna, mm -hmm is if you wouldn't mind taking out your smartphone. Of course. And you copy down. Mm -hmm. This is what's called Remind 101. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be our way. Miss Robbins, myself and Miss Robbins William will be able to send out reminders to you. All right, for the dual on, credit? For dual credit, okay. specifically. So we'll be sending out reminders on the testing days, reminding you when the deadline is mm -hmm. and and of course, that important pa payment that you will be doing um, in, in the early part of August, and it will the payment to, to Lone Star will happen after, uh, before, before you come back to school. Oh, really? Okay, great. Yep. So, Remind 101 will keep you on yeah. track. Got it. Thank cool. you. Do you have any other questions before I send you out of here and you get your Lone Star ID? I was wondering, what's the difference between AP and dual credit? That's a really good question. Well, 
they're both challenging classes uh -huh. and you have to be you know up for up for the task uh, AP um, is going to require you at, at or, or allow you to take a test at the end of the year okay um, you'll pay about a hundred dollars for that test and you'll get a holistic score of one to five if you get a three four or five on that test you will then be able to use those scores when you go to your college advisors. Mm -hmm. Once you graduate and go to orientation, advisors will look at those scores and tell you how you um, would, how they will give you the credit. You certainly can check on a college website because they usually have a chart for AP. Mm -hmm. With dual credit, um, as I said, rigorous coursework, um, you work you know, every day in the class to earn the grade. Okay. Like, so you're working at Cy Woods, but you're also working Lone Star. Gotcha. Uh, for a student who, you know, is um, a good worker and maybe not a good test taker, mm -hmm. they may find dual credit more helpful, mm -hmm. uh, more beneficial for them. But as long as this, you receive, receive a C or higher mm -hmm. in dual credit, then you'll have three credit hours for, for English mm -hmm. in the fall. And then again, when we register you again in the spring, you will able, be able to earn three more credit hours in the okay. spring. So when you finish your junior year, you'll have six credit hours for English that will be sitting on a college transcript mm -hmm. that you can take to whatever college, you know, well, it's not whatever, <laughs> to most colleges okay. that you're going to. So as far as those colleges are concerned, our advisement is to, if you think you know where you'd like to apply, to be calling those schools. Okay, so give them a call and they can tell me more information? Mm -hmm. good. Just tell them I'm, I'm thinking about taking dual credit at my high school. Uh -huh. Do you, are you familiar with the program? Can I expect to have a transcript reviewed when I, if I, if I attend your university? Okay. So, sound like a good yeah, plan? Yeah, sounds great. Okay, so once you have your ID number, I need you to come back and see me. Mm -hmm. and we will complete this pink registration form. Okay. You will sign, mom or dad or someone at home will sign, mm -hmm. front and back, and you'll return that to me or to Ms. Robbins-Williams okay. across the hall, and then we will change your schedule, mm -hmm. and in the fall you'll start until credit, but you have to remember to pay for it. Okay, remember to pay for the course. Do you know how much, do you have any idea how much it will cost? No, I was actually wondering that too. Um, it should cost $72 for three credit hours. Okay. And so that's the best bargain <laughs> that you know, college credit money can buy.